more of this, but uh, right now you are leading our news bulletin uh, with an alleged fracas with Ian Beefy, Botham and yourself in the car park. Um, are you aware of that? Well, I yeah, I was aware. I mean, I, I was aware of it, and uh, I became aware of the publicity that had come out of England. I've only just found out who wrote the story in the Daily Mail in England, a yeah. fellow called Charlie Sale. And uh, all I would say is that uh, you've got two masters of fairy tales. Uh, Botham is a master of fairy tales. He, he and the, the truth uh, rarely meet. And Charlie Sale writes rubbish. So that combination is not a good one. There was, uh, there was some words spoken in the car park. Um, I'm apparently being painted as the instigator. I'd, I'd accept 50% of the blame, but certainly not the instigator. And as far as the rest of the rubbish is concerned about uh, you know, having each other by the throat and having to be pulled apart, that's another one of those fairy tales I was talking about. So the reports that you clean him up with a left and right combination aren't quite factual. <laughs> <laughs> I've never thrown a left. Actually, I'm just about to walk into a Chinese restaurant and grab my dinner. That'll be the only combination uh, <laughs> I've ever thrown if I throw it at somebody. Well, that's it. You are now sacked from 3AW. We oh. thought you'd brought the game into disrepute or the oh. station into disrepute, and it, it does appear as if that's the case. You didn't clean him up with a combination. No, no mate, no. I, I would have been a chance to win the McGarry medal if, a, if you're talking about fairest. I was never going to throw a punch at anybody. Oh, that's disappointing, and I've got to say, for the Australian uh, supporters <laughs> out there, we were hoping you absolutely stitched him up in the car park just to get some joy out of Adelaide. <laughs> well, I, there was a point where we were even with England in one thing. We, it was two referrals each uh, for quite right. a, a large part of the game. Just but unfortunately, we, uh, we wasted one of those and went behind one... One, two there as well. It's early in the series, Ian. You're well aware of that, aren't you? There's still another three tests to come. There's plenty of time for us to get this up, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I you know, I wish I could give you something positive, uh, <laughs> you know, to go on, but it's, um, it, yeah, I, oh, sorry, you, yeah, okay, I thought you were talking cricket there for a moment. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's not going to happen, mate. Can I ask you uh, a serious question? You were reported today as being a strong Republican, as am I. One thing that got up my goat was the fact that uh, when they, the English won back the Ashes, they were, uh, a couple of years ago, the whole lot of them were uh, given an MBE or an MOA or whatever uh, it was, an OAM. We've been winning Ashes series for uh, decades, <laughs> and not one of ours has ever been recognised with a total team award. Now, that suggests to me that maybe the Queen sees... Her subjects uh, a bit closer to home, closer to her bosom than those uh, in the Antipodes. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I would hate to think that uh, a sporting team, as a team, were given an award like that. I think, uh, I, I mean, that was to me that was an indication that they were really clutching at straws. Mm. Uh, so I'd hate to see. Yeah, and also, I'm a bit of a mind. I, I worked next to Mike Gibson uh, on Wide World of Sports for about eight years. And Gibbo always used to say, uh, uh, it doesn't save any lives, you know, mate, uh, playing sport. And uh, I, I think he might have brainwashed me eventually because yeah. I'm a bit inclined towards the, the feeling that there, you know, there are people out there doing a hell of a lot more important things than, than playing sport. It's, it's nice to win and earn or something like that. But as far as uh, those sort of awards are concerned, I think, uh, you know, they're more, uh, people who do things that... Um, that help people and save lives, I think they're a bit more deserving than sportsmen. So just finally, Ian, to those people who are uh, trying to beat this up, uh, the fact is you haven't jobbed Ian Botham. No, I definitely haven't, mate. No. A very disappointing day for Australian cricket all round, I've got to say. Appreciate your time tonight. We'll speak to you next test. OK, thanks a lot, guys. Bye. Ian Chappell, uh, legend of Australian sport.